Okay, to start with, I just want to race through some KFC ads. So some people would be more familiar with the cricket than others. Um, nevertheless, you may have come across these television commercials. Uh, they are centred around a character called Mick, who goes on various escapades. Um, I'll run you through them and then I just want to find out like what you saw and then have a look at that with regards to the KFC brand. So, if we duck across to YouTube... Bindi's ruined backyard cricket, so I recommend a bit of concreting. And thank your friends with a KFC Fielders Feast. Ten pieces of delicious original recipe chicken and two large chips for just $17.95. Okay. Uh, just because I probably know him better than everybody else in the room. Matt, what can you see in this ad? Uh, in the overall ad, I saw a lot of red and a lot of the K KFC. Yes. Apart from the, the phrase in the commercial, uh, then everything just went red, everything was red. If you liken this screen grab to the two times staircase, what's the image? Uh, probably more... Mick. Mick gets a bindi in his foot and therefore he by concrete in the backyard. Yes. Thank you. Okay, so this is one for Nicole. Nicole. You happy with people jumping the fence? That ad was um, extremely controversial within people in my level, uh, communications and, and corporate marketing, um, which is an extreme exception. It was debated very hotly with KFC Australia and Cricket Australia for them to be able to do that. It created an enormous amount of problems. We have the highest number of kitchen days this summer than we have of any summer. Um, and the WAPA specifically came under intense scrutiny because of that gentleman right there. Brilliant answer. Thank you so much. <laughs> As opposed to I see red, it's like concrete, concrete, say <laughs> concrete. Um, yeah, mm, okay. Let's have a look at this one. Okay, I'm just going to race through these. Anybody engaged here? Okay, and last one. Okay, that's a campaign. There were more ads in it. Um, I've just chosen those six. Individually, any of those, and you go, oh, Mick, you be glarican. When you actually see them back to back and, and you hear reports of what may or may not be linked because Mick is saying, watch and learn, emulate my behaviour. You know, I am a consumer of KFC, I want you to behave like me. All of a sudden you think, oh, Lord, it's like, what is the corporate identity of KFC? Do they want to be seen as people with a sense of humour? And I su would suggest that that's really what they're aiming for. But I do think from my own point of view they are off the mark with this. Um, because what you end up with is Mick as a, as a complete tosser, where you think that the continuance that Pierre's talked about with regards to having that consistency all the way through, what is consistent about Mick is that he's sociopathic, like he lies, he cheats, he steals, like all for his own benefit. Um, and this is KFC, you know, thinking that it's funny trying to sell fried chicken. I see conflict with that, but you know, there were little chortles from the audience during that. So yes, on one level it's funny, on another level coming back to risk management, you know, and it's like, thank you so much for coming. Um, it is really nice to hear that, yes. We discussed this earlier in the week, but everyone's right now. So if people are going to pick this up, you're going to have a crime and laugh at it. You see exactly his magic. See? Thank you. If I could just get that as some kind of like affidavit. Or... Oh, we're recording. Beautiful. Um, 
so yeah, it's like at the cumulative level, I really think that detracts from KFC as a brand. I don't think they have won any friends from that whatsoever. I don't think they've sold as much chicken as they could have if they had looked at it with risk management and sort of said, okay, maybe there are other ways of tackling this. Maybe we can be funny without having to take advantage of people because they're asleep, unconscious, uh, or in-laws. Okay, so now let's visit the neighbouring drive-through. <laughs> 